Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in, Alessandro the Crypto here, I hope you're doing all fine. So before we start with our Bitcoin TA, just a little reminder, today we're gonna select the winner of our $10 worth of Bitcoin giveaway that we do weekly and this giveaway is sponsored by BTArt. So make sure to subscribe to the giveaway, the video is popping up at the end of this video and if you also want to trade over on BTArt or other exchanges that I recommend you so if you want to trade Bitcoin other cryptos and now also oil for example gold you can do that for example on BTArt or Femex then go down below here in the video description you find all the links that you need to sign up to those exchanges with my links you can get also some bonus and rewards so definitely go down below if you need one of these exchanges and register with my link all right guys so let's start today with the one hour time frame again because bitcoin is still moving here along the 20 moving average which is a very bullish sign we also have the rsi still above the 50 level so in theory right now we are moving up here again towards this twelve thousand dollar resistance hopefully we can break it now definitely to the upside like we have seen already in ethereum when we had here this resistance here at around 400 dollar and we had here this nice breakout and at the moment we are again consolidating here and potentially are preparing for another lag to the upside so bitcoin is potentially going to move the same way but of course before we're gonna see this breakout it is also possible that we're gonna have a final lag down here towards 11,500, so towards our support line before we're going to retest 12k and also break it if we go over into the Bollinger Band here, you can see that we're still trading in the upper area. So we are trading here between 11,890 and 11,950. So here also, as long as we're trading in the upper part, the momentum is shifted to the upside and we should expect here this 12K retest pretty soon. Only if we would start to trade here in the next couple of hours below 11,890, then I think we could go down towards this 11,790, potentially even lower to retest. The $11,500. We also had here the stochastic quite overbought so it is possible that first we're going to cool off here a bit. MACD is flat here so there is a high chance that we will see another retest of 11500 maybe even up to 11600 and if we go over to the 4 hour you can see here that we are clearly having also here the 20 moving average as a support. Currently it's at 11780 also the RSI is still in the upper area we could have a lot of fuel left to the upside if we are pushing through 12k and even if we would fall towards the 20 or 50 moving average watch out for the support here at $11,500 if we would start to close four hour candles below $11,500 then this potential ascending triangle could be denied it's not yet guaranteed but it could be denied and don't forget we're trading during a weekend so I never really trust weekend action and that's why I guess that also today we're gonna just start to trade sideways here and don't see a real breakout here to the upside or downside but we have to expect here a potential breakout in, in the next couple of days latest so I guess this week we're gonna have here this final breakout here most likely to the upside I had here a sell signal in the four hour time frame but as you can see we got saved from the 20 moving average it is still possible that we will go down here to retest $11,500 it looks like that we are still a bit overbought here even though I got another buy signal but these buy signals only works when we are in oversold condition and not when we are already up here in overbought condition here in the four hour and if we have a look into the Bollinger Band you can see that also here we came down to retest the first moving average here at 11,870 if we would lose that then watch out here for this 11,750 before we could go even down towards 11,500 which is also the bottom here of the Bollinger Band in the four hour time frame and since we are still looking a bit toppy here in the four hour i think it is very possible that we maybe see during the day a potential little sell-off towards 11,500 so i wouldn't short it but take it as an opportunity to go long if you're seeing the price moving towards 11,500 dollar and even if you start to scale in here at 11,500 dollars your longs and we will crash down to the cme gap at around 9,600 dollar if you go only with a 5x or 10x leverage you can easily manage to keep alive your trade so you don't have to worry even if the price dumps towards 
just a CME gap, you will be still doing fine and you can manage your trade pretty well. But I still think before we're going down to those levels, we most likely going to have extreme overbought conditions on Bitcoin. So towards 14 to $16,000 and then maybe have a bigger correction down to those 10k levels. Also MACD and stochastic you see that are still overbought here. We had a bearish cross in the stochastic. We are still here in overbought conditions. Also here I'm still waiting here for a potential little cool off. And now let's have a look here into the daily time frame because also here you can see that we are quite toppy here with the RSI is still here more close to overbought. The good thing is that we have now the 20 daily moving average acting as a support. Currently it's at 11,360. So even if we would have a little correction down to this moving average, we still would maintain our support and should in theory bounce from it. Only if we would start to create daily closes below this moving average, then I think it is very likely that we're going to have a huge correction potentially even down towards here the 200 moving average which currently it's at nine thousand dollars so if we are far away from all these moving averages then most of the times the price is coming down to them because it's acting like a magnet but as you can see currently we are not really far away so we are not in real extreme condition here on a bitcoin so usually you see the price way more distant from all the moving averages when bitcoin goes really nuts to the upside so what i see right now is just another accumulation phase where we are preparing for the next move to the upside and also if we have a look here into the Bollinger Band you can see that we're still trading here in the upper areas so also here we could potentially go easily to retest $12,100 and then hopefully also break it and start to build up new support above this price level we also had the stochastic oversold now shifted again to the upside only here the macd is a bit bearish we had a bearish cross and it shifted to the downside but you can see that we are already cooling off a bit here the macd so it is possible that as long as we're trading sideways here we cool it off a bit and then have another bullish cross and then we start the big move towards 14 and 16 thousand dollar and now let's go also into the weekly time frame because here I still see some warning signs even though we could be in here for the next big leg up towards 14 and 16 thousand dollar the only problem that I still have here in the weekly is that we so far never tested a 20 weekly moving average which usually Bitcoin is doing during a bull run so far after breaking here 10k we didn't come down to retest and confirm the 20 weekly moving average which currently is at $9,700 where also the CME gap is lining up. We had here a buy signal and as you can see also we have the momentum now clearly shifted to the upside. I'm watching here my indicator in the weekly time frame. If up here in overbought condition I will get a sell signal this could potentially mean that we will go down to retest this $9,700 dollar level also you see that the rsi is in overbought condition but we are not in extreme overbought condition so bitcoin before is gonna top out potentially goes even to a 90 or 100 level currently we are at 70 so the last final extreme phase on bitcoin we didn't see yet here so this could happen potentially if we're going up towards 14 or 16 thousand dollar before we're gonna see another bigger correction down to 10k area to retest the 20 week close the CME gap and then start the huge big bull run that will break 16k 20k and so on and if we have a look also into the Bollinger Band you can see that we are still overshooting it to the upside so retracement back down here into the middle area is still very possible even though I think that it don't have to happen right now we still have some room left to the upside this bull run is very strong so I think it is very likely that we will see a breakout to the upside towards 14 to 16 K but there are also big warning signs especially here in the weekly time frame even MACD and stochastic are looking toppy here we are in overbought condition so a retracement back down between here maybe 10k and 9200 is very likely and this is the range where I would go all in if the price is correcting right now down to those 
levels so let's wait and see if you're able to break this 12k this week and don't forget if you want to take advantage of these big pushes to the upside or dumps when we correct you can make a lot of gains in both direction if you're trading for example here on Bybit, Femex or Bityard because here you can do also with small amounts big gains because here you can go up to 100x in leverage so if you also want to trade bitcoin and other assets then make sure that you're using the links that you find down below here because with my links you can also get some sign up bonus and also you support the channel and please feel very welcome to join our free discord trading chat this is the chat where i'm also sending my trading signals that i'm getting from my own indicator and also if you have twitch you can follow my live streams over on twitch you find all the links down below here in the video description and of course there you find also some other useful links that you can use if you want to open up an account for example at Bitvala, Swissborg, Coinbase, Binance and so on. With my links you always get some rewards or some discounts on the trading fees so definitely go and check them out. And with that said guys I'm gonna wrap it up for now. Don't forget we're gonna do later the $10 worth of Bitcoin giveaway video so make sure to participate on this giveaway. The subscription video is popping up here at the end of this video. So thank you very much for your support and for watching my friends and we're gonna see us all in the next one. Bye!